I'm Philosophical. This is my channel, and we're healing over here. Thank you for all your support. I love you. If nobody told you today that they love you, Philosophical, love you, OS. I'm going to do a quick what's up message for Taurus males. Okay. I'm going to separate these this month from men and women just so their messages are more clear. Higher vibrational beings only. Let's see what the message is. Uh, I, I was hearing when I put the music on that somebody buried, somebody could have buried some money in the backyard so that maybe the feds didn't find it or, or something like that. Somebody buried some money in the backyard. I don't know if that was for you, Taurus, or someone you're dealing with because I had already had the intent out that I was going to do this for Taurus males. So, and this isn't masculine energy. These are males, Okay. Um, and, and that came on afterwards. So this could be for you or someone you're connected to. Okay. Uh, high vibration beings only. Let's see what the messages are for Taurus males. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or cross watcher. Okay. Let's see. What's the message for Taurus males, please? Yes. So maybe that has to do with something I said, one, two, three, about the money being buried in a backyard here. Let me see, what is this? Vacated. Somebody could have vacated a property. They could have had vacated, somebody could have vacated a property quickly. <clears throat> Maybe because they're being watched by the Fed. Yo, under, under investigation. I This is crazy. So I feel like somebody, either you or somebody, it could be a child's father or your father. Somebody is under investigation here. Let me see. But I honestly picked up that... Uh, look for a death possibly because that slid out the side you could be dealing with a Scorpio but if you're not I feel like someone's definitely under investigation because of a death of somebody here okay and somebody buried money in the backyard all right let me see tell me more about this yeah holding on I feel like somebody was holding on to money from the death of somebody here and they could have looked yuck yo Somebody buried the shit in the backyard so that the banks wouldn't find it or investigators wouldn't find it, okay? That could be the investigator here that we're talking about. Could be the death of a Aries Leo Sagittarius or this could just be a karmic masculine here. Higher vibrational beings only, please. Can you show me yes? Thank you. Can you show me no? Thank you. Is today Thursday? Somebody's doing 11 years in prison or just under 11 years in prison for this? Uh, can you, sh is today Tuesday? Somebody's waiting for their sentencing, I just heard. Is this a karmic masculine with this king of wands here? Thank you. Is this a Scorpio with the death card? So this could have something to do with the death of a, a Scorpio here. Okay. Or a Scorpio is the one under investigation or let's see what else is going on here. Which ones do I want to use? I want to stay with these. Okay. Tell me more. Unexpected. Something was unexpected. Yeah, I feel like whatever this is, this is it. This is like a cycle completed here. Okay, you completed a cycle. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just listening. A troll. So somebody's being seen as a troll. Um, yeah, there's there's a cycle completed here uh, with a karmic masculine here. Okay, let me see here. Tell me more about this, please. Tell me more about this, please. Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius here, or this could be the child of an Aquarius, okay? That's connected to you somehow, Taurus male, okay? All right, I'm going to find out more about this. I want to try and get as much information as possible. Higher vibrational beings only. Is this, is this a child of an Aquarius we're talking about here? 
Okay. So either you're the child of this Aquarius or someone you're connected to is a child of an Aquarius. This Aquarius could be a, a karmic masculine here. Okay, tell me more about this. I feel like somebody got something in the mail and somebody messed with somebody's mail, okay? Uh, this person could be getting exposed or you're dealing with a Leo here. But I feel like whoever this child is... Uh, they're like a happy child, you know, they're, they're a light being, okay, with the star card and the sun card here, I feel like they're a, a light worker or a chosen one, this could have been the person, this person could have Scorpio in their chart, it doesn't have to be a Scorpio, let's see, I feel like someone's spying on somebody here, let me see, tell me more about this please with the sun card, king of cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, a child of an Aquarius could have exposed a Cancer Pisces Scorpio for this death. Douchebags, I just heard douchebags. Violent, I feel like I just heard violent, so this person's being seen as violent. You could have been disappointed. You could have been disappointed in something that you found out uh, about uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like this person, this water sign, Maskian, like they play victim a lot, but they're actually being seen as a devil here. Tell me more about this, please. Yeah, I feel like you or someone you're connected to was guided to move away from this person. Or you were, yeah, definitely a Pisces here. I feel like somebody here was guided by their, they were guided to move away from a Pisces male here. This could have been someone they were in a relationship with or had some kind of friendship with or just some, some kind of partnership with. I feel like someone used their intuition and, and really, because I heard violence. So I feel like somebody was violent towards you or someone that you're connected to and they were guided to move away from this person. Because I feel like also with the star card is like the universe or somebody's guides um, we're offering, we're, we're telling this person to expose this person. Um, they came here. I feel like somebody also offered healing to this King of Cups here, but they denied it. I feel like they didn't want it. And so this other person here, uh, you or whoever this is was guided to move away because this person was also like mentally ill and had a lot of secrets here. Okay. I feel like with the sun card and the moon card, this, this person's secrets were exposed after uh, you moved away from this person or whoever you're dealing with moved away from this person, but somebody's definitely under investigation here, uh, because guilty. Yeah. I feel like they're being seen as guilty as recommended. So yeah, I feel like somebody here, there's one person that was, it was recommended for them to move away from somebody. Okay. You could have been a drug addict or this person, uh, was a drug addict. Tell me more. This person is intimidated by strong women, okay? Let's see. Tell me more about this, please. Intimidated by strong women. What else do we need to know? Things are back to normal, she just said. So I feel like things are going back to normal. Taking accountability. So somebody's being forced to take accountability. Uh, but the fact that uh, someone here, well, someone, either you or someone you're connected to is taking accountability for things in their life, okay? But somebody here is being forced to take accountability, whether they like it or not. Divine feminine. So the, you could be connected to a divine feminine here, Taurus. Return to sender. So this divine feminine obviously is being spiritually attacked. I like that you're broken, broken like me. So this person could have been hanging with broken people. I mean, this person, uh, you could have been broken at one point. Or this divine feminine that you're dealing with was broken at one point, And now they were guided uh, to, to move away from broken people. People. So I feel like this person that they moved away from was broken, okay? This person is locked up for trafficking or they're about to get locked up for trafficking. That could have been like why this divine feminine that you're connected to, Taurus, was here is because they came here to expose people for trafficking is what I'm picking up here. All right, I'm going to get some. Let's see. My strange addiction is on. So I feel like somebody has a lot of strange addictions. They could be addicted to this divine feminine that you're obviously connected to, okay? Tell me more about this Divine Feminine here, please. 
Yeah, I feel like this is a family member of yours. Okay, this divine feminine. This this also this family could be getting like your family members here with the ten of cups could be getting locked up for trafficking. Yeah, almost kidnapping because that slid out the bottom. I feel like so there's family members who are like really stressed out and they could be fighting because I feel like there could be some family members who were involved and and other family members like who aren't. And I feel like this is called yeah, blah family. Yeah, truth about money. This had something to do with a large sum of money, probably insurance money when I see the Ten of Pentacles, okay? You could be dealing with a Pisces or this Divine Feminine was dealing with a Pisces here. All right, let's see. Homeless. So they could have been trying to make this Divine Feminine homeless or put them on the street or, or whatever. Somebody's aunt could be involved here. This Divine Feminine's aunt could be involved. Someone's neighbor could be trying to make them homeless or someone's this person's neighbor is homeless or about to be. So, but there's people trying to make a divine feminine homeless here, okay? And somehow I'm guessing you're you're connected to this divine feminine somehow, okay? We are broken pieces. Somebody wanted this divine feminine to stay broken into pieces triangulated you so somebody could have triangulated you with this divine feminine this could actually be like a mom or a wife of yours that somebody tried to triangulate and come in between you guys maybe that makes me a fool yeah somebody here is like foolish like they liked somebody when they were broken like this could be your family members like this divine feminine better when she was broken um because it made them feel better about themselves let's see All right, let's see. Tell me some more for Taurus males, please, or cross watcher. What else do the Taurus males or cross watcher uh, need to know about this situation here? What else do these Taurus males or cross watcher need to know about this situation that we're talking about here? Monk and nun. So this could be. Let me see if this is the light or the dark attribute here. <clears throat> I just heard Mike. He just said Mike, so somebody's name could be Mike. Higher vibrational beings only. Alternative income. So somebody thought they were going to get alternative income off of possibly the death of this divine feminine here. Is this the light attribute of this? Okay, so this divine feminine or you uh, is very connected to spirit. And I'm guessing that they probably got messages about this. Okay. Let me see. What do I want to use? I want to use these. Yeah, I feel like this could be a mom of yours because I just saw the uh, King of Pentacles. That would be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, male. And then I saw the Emperor. So this could be a, a wife of yours or a mom of yours. Okay. Yeah, this could definitely be. Let me see what's up here. Tell me about this uh, person that's connected to spirit. Tell me about this person. Queen of Swords. So this person could actually speak uh, and is a channeler for the Queen of Swords and the connection to spirit. And I feel like it's stressing people out. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius female here. But I feel like this is just saying that whoever this is here, they speak um, and that's what they do. They're very good at speaking and they channel other spirits, spirits for wisdom, knowledge, and information. Okay. And I feel like somebody's definitely got a problem with this person speaking. This could be the person who's exposing them. Yeah. Taking the veil off possibly, uh, uh with a Gemini, maybe, maybe they're, they're, um, this could have something to do with a Gemini female here with the queen of swords. Somebody like wanted to get revenge. They're, they're jealous because this person is very gifted because I'm seeing the seven of cups now as just different gifts, spiritual gifts that this person is looking up into the sky, like um, receiving from higher beings and shit. This could, uh, this could be a sibling of yours or, or there's, there's this, the veil is being pulled off about uh, a sibling misery. Some of them misery. The hourglass I just heard. So I feel like it's just a matter of time. Like this is all coming out. King of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male. 
Let me see. What is this? Tell me more about this. What's this King of Swords? This person could be channeling the spirit of like uh, an ancestor here. Oh, King of Wands and King of Swords. That's a narcissist. So I feel like whoever this is, that, that this Queen of Swords that's connected to spirit, they're exposing, obviously, uh, soul contracts with narcissists. I feel like that's what this person does. Like they awaken people or make people aware uh, about soul contracts with narcissistic um, beings, possibly men because of the King of Wands and the King of Swords. That's definitely my narcissist here. I, yeah, helping people look at things from a new perspective. Maybe this is you are now looking at things from a different perspective, Page of Swords, because maybe you're hearing these messages and you could be realizing that you were around narcissistic males okay this could be fathers grandfathers that you're realizing yeah look fathers grandfathers i feel like this person whoever this divine feminine is uh is is like giving you the the one to to walk away from narcissistic men in your life okay if you're a male i feel like you may have been in danger in turning into one and maybe that's why that's why i feel like this could be like a mother or a sister for some of you or like someone that you're in a relationship with uh this is giving me the um narcissistic like abuse making people aware of narcissistic abuse okay haunted encounters so there could be some people being haunted by the things that they did to this particular divine feminine dreams come true so i feel like these people are watching this divine feminine's dreams come true or they're about to watch this person's or you are about to watch this person's dream come true this person i feel like is very lovable this divine feminine okay Tell me more about this. Or you're a very lovable Taurus male brother. So this this could be your brother or have something to do uh, with the brother of somebody here. Okay. Somebody's brother is involved in something here. Fast. Uh, you could be fasting. Why is this brother in fast here? Wanted to torture you. So the brother of, of somebody here could have wanted to torture you. Wow, hold on. Hold on a second, sorry. It just feels so good. There's a movie on says there was a crooked man. So I feel like you or whoever you were dealing with was dealing with a lot of crooked men. And then obviously they wanted to torture you or they wanted to torture this divine feminine that you are connected to somehow. This divine, you could be celibate. Okay, so fasting. All right, so either you or this person we're talking about could be fasting on sex. That's probably what this is and they're celibate. Thank you for clarifying that because I was actually really confused. So this makes this more clear. Let me turn this down because I got this now. Whoever this divine feminine was, this person being celibate like this, okay? Probably is what's saving their life because somebody probably wanted to torture them. Probably like, look, torture you again. Okay. When I split the deck, uh, and they could have probably wanted to do this sexually. So they could have been trying to get people to come towards this feminine, to date them and then to get them alone and torture them, uh, rape them and stuff. And I'm sorry to say that, but I feel like the celibate card is here because somebody being celibate was actually like putting protection around them from these people. Somebody's brother. Let me see. The, this could be the brother connected to like one. This brother could be one of these crooked men. Okay. Child molester. Yeah, I feel like these people, these men, or this particular brother here is being is a child molester. Okay. Male cousin. Son. My son. That's what I heard. So um, for some of you, this was the brother and the male. Co I feel like this is just a family with this, these males coming out here of just criminals, crooked men, molesters, rapists, traffickers. I feel like this was, look, somebody lied to your family about this. So whatever information I feel like you got, this person, psycho killer, they lied to your family about this, Taurus. Okay. Ugh. Telling you, these messages are like awful that are coming out, but they need to come out. Okay, I want to get a demon card. The doctor, somebody could have been like ha getting doctors involved, or where, where some was somebody could have worked. So, somebody you're connected to could work for a doctor. I don't know if that's clarification. 
Let me see. All right, tell me more. Thank you. Amon, okay. Amon, related to the Egyptian Amon, is a fire-breathing marquee of hell. He has the body and teeth of a wolf, the tail of a serpent, and the head of an owl. So this um, this person that you're dealing with, with the owl thing, could be very wise. Hold on, let me get my demon book. Okay. Amen, amen, amen. Focus on repairing relationships that have drifted apart. Okay, so you could be like, you could have drifted apart from this divine feminine. And I feel like you're you're going to be repairing or you did already repairing your relationship with this divine feminine. Because uh, look, look, at I just picked up the cards and that was on the bottom. This is definitely like a mom for some of you or a wife. This mom, I mean, this could be a sis sister of yours. Uh, this could be so many things. But the Empress came out twice. That's divine feminine. Um, that's also like the mom. I feel like this person with the death card at the bottom completely transformed. And maybe that's why you're reconciling with this person. Knight of Cups. I feel like this person started loving themselves and actually taking care of themselves. Okay. You could be repairing a relationship with a friend as well that you haven't seen in a while. Like a friend that you actually could rely on. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups here. Repairing relationships. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this, so, Knight of Cups and, and Nine of Pentacles, I feel like somebody here started uh, working on themselves independently and doing things by themselves, possibly during a dark night of the soul. I feel like they could have been, like, stressed out and, like, worried and stuff, um, and uh, this could be you that's stressed out, finding out what this person went through. Yeah, this person was guided. I'm telling you, this person was going through a dark time and they were protected. I feel like they were protected by their guides. They relied on their guides the whole time. This nine of swords and the moon is giving me dark night of the soul. I feel like this person could be guiding you through a dark time right now or they, they're, they're going to they're gonna be doing this because you could be going through the dark night of the soul. I feel like you are changing your diet, okay? You're changing your diet, watching what you eat. This this story was like, and that's all he said. So I feel like whoever story this is, it's like jaw dropping. Whoever this is, I feel like their story is like hard to believe. Tell me more. I heard stalkers. They're talking about stalkers. Set you up for money. So this could be you or this divine feminine that we're talking about here. You can trust them. So I feel like if somebody said that they were getting set up for money, I feel like this is saying you can trust them. You can trust what they said. Or you know now in the present, I just saw the present card, that you can trust them. Because you may have been told that this person was being set up or set up to be killed or something. And you may not have believed them. Some of your family are involved. I, you, I don't know whether you know this. Some of your family could be being exposed as serial killers, Taurus. <sighs> I'm going to do um, a karmic family, definitely, with the Wheel of Fortune. But I feel like this is why I'm doing male and female, because it's more descriptive, okay? You're walking away from these people. I feel like you're walking away from whoever these family members are that are involved. Yeah, you left them out in the cold. I, I feel like you're like, deuces, I'm out. All right. Wow, this person, these family members could have actually abandoned this person. Yeah, look, I feel like these, they're stressed. There's like stressful energy here. I feel like a lot of these families too, like they're experiencing poverty or they're, they're losing things. Okay. But there's people that are stressed out here. I feel like it's this, these family members. Okay. These family members could have actually left this person out in the cold and abandoned them when they were going through like the most difficult. This is like, how many swords do you need that have come out already? I feel like somebody here was going through a really difficult time, a very dark time in their life with the moon and these family members. Yeah, I feel like there's like tower moments and stress. And honestly, I, I, I'm really picking up that like there's like family that rejected somebody or was like, no, we don't want to help you or we don't want nothing to do with you when somebody was really like needing their family here. Okay, that's what I'm picking up on. I'm not into my birthday. It's just an age thing. So I feel like this people, this person doesn't even like a lot of attention. Like I feel like they're not big on birthdays. They don't really care about 
material things. I feel like, and yeah, this person was like disappointed. I feel like, yo, if everybody in my life would just tell me, I feel like if this person felt like everybody in their life just abandoned them and left them out in the cold, okay? This person could have, may have trust issues that you're dealing with because of this, or they're, they're going to have trust issues for a while. Because from what this, what this message is, is somebody here was like set up, and I feel like some of their family members were involved. Not wanting to celebrate. Yeah, I feel like people didn't want to celebrate this person's birthday. This person could have had like a miserable birthday or multiple like birthdays where people were just, I don't know. I'm just getting, this has to be like a chosen one or something. People were told not to celebrate somebody's birthday, I just heard, to make them upset or to make them feel... Th so this is really sick and dark. I feel like there's people here who were like, don't even celebrate or don't even call them or whatever. Like, they wanted somebody to, like, be, um, like, really low, like, almost suicidal, the waiting game. So I feel like you're just waiting for something, waiting for what? Or these people are just waiting, maybe waiting for this all to come out or... Hold on. Moving on. So I feel like this person was like, maybe they were waiting, thinking that these family members or whatever were going to like finally like do something or come back. And I feel like this person was like, or you're like, somebody here is like, I'm just, I can't. Two, six could be relevant. <laughs> this person could be born on the 26th or they could be 26. Two and six could be relevant somehow. Okay. But I feel like somebody here was like, I'm not waiting. I'm just going to keep going because I can't sit here. I feel like that's what these people wanted. Like they wanted this, um, this feminine to just wait around and keep them stuck. Cause I, cause I, I feel like it was all designed that way or something. This, I'm telling you, this could be your mother. For some of you, this is your mom that went through this. Get violent. I feel like somebody said this mother was violent and they lied. Father, look at this shit. You could be moving on away from a father here. High vibrational beings only. Is this a father here? Is it okay? Is this a toxic masculine then? So you or this person is moving on from uh, whoever this toxic dude was because I feel like there's a ringleader here. Okay, I do. I feel like there's there's a ringleader in this bitch. Downhill is the movie I just saw. So somebody here is going downhill since this person moved on or they moved on because this person was going downhill. Tell me about this uh, low vibrational masculine card. Tell me about this, please. Tell me about this person. I feel like, yeah, I, it's my birthday and I don't want the class to sing to me. I just feel like this person was never really put on the pedestal or they were always like dumbed down or they were always, there's just something here about gas, gaslighting, gaslighting, queen of cups. This, um, tell me about this queen of cups. Why is this here? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, female, king of pentacles. So I feel like whoever this was that walked away, if they're not a water sign, I feel like this person could have walked away with love, right? Queen of Cups is loving. That's like a divine feminine energy. And they started attracting money or they started, there's something here. We can't, that's your energy though. I feel like this person started meditating. This is like getting rest, meditating. They, this, this could be a mother and father here with the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. This could be like a, a parents. This could be moving on from parents. Just blow her off. I feel like people were telling you to blow this person off, whoever this Divine Feminine is, or they were just blowing this person off. I just heard blow her off. Just blow her off. This is like sad. Yeah. This person started uh, meditating. I also feel like this person here, a single stream of income. I don't want any gifts because we don't have enough. So I feel like this person you were dealing with is not the kind of person that really cared about gifts. They keep mentioning birthdays and gifts and money. And with this kind of pentacles here, I feel like... This could be someone who put an end to a toxic bloodline. All right. This is also my bloodline card here. Yeah. 
This could be family putting it into a toxic uh, bloodline in their own family here. But this is also somebody that when they walked away from this toxic masculine, this could be just general that they're walking away from like low vibing men, this divine feminine. Okay. And, and now they're all, they only want somebody who's in this King of Pentacles energy and shit. And that's actually you here, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Um, if you are an older man, because usually this is like a business owner. Oh, so this could be a business owner with a business. Somebody could have actually put an end to working for a family business here with the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, and found stability after that. So yeah, because they walked away, whoever this person was, or you're walking away from a family business here. You could you could have put an end to working for a family business here, and and because this this was like this was some kind of stability for you, yeah. And I feel like who if whether this is you or this person who walked away from a family business, they found balance in their life after. So this could be a situation where someone knew like I'm never gonna get this business or I'm never gonna actually be where I'm supposed to be working for this. Could be a father here, father fat, or just a toxic masculine here who just wanted to keep them stuck. I feel like somebody here couldn't get equal give and take with whatever this business was or this family group was. So they they put an end to it with the four of swords. And I feel like they found stability and balance in their life after they did this. So I'm going to leave it there, Taurus uh, men. All right. That is specifically for Tauruses who are men. This is either going to resonate with you or this is about someone you're connected to or a cross watcher. Okay. I hope that helped. We're not going nowhere. I love you guys. Bye.